What's up everyone? Welcome to Mess with Kastin. I am Kastin Mapala. Moving right along with question number one, uh, November 2022, grade 12, Maths paper two. If you just tuned in on this channel, please make sure that you subscribe. We are a channel that provide mathematics uh, question and answers and also explain each and every question based on the past papers examples. And we also give out lessons as well. So please make sure that you stay tuned so that we can learn together this mathematics and make sure that we do get distinctions so it was a statistics question this question of uh, november 2022 question one and then uh, let's deal with it and see what we were given here is by just looking at it we're given a scatter plot and also a diagram as well so let's read the question a mathematics teacher was curious to establish if her learners mathematics mark influenced their physical sciences mark all right in the table the mathematics and the science mark of 15 learners in her class are given as percentage okay we see that okay there's mathematics there and there's also a physical science there all right okay let's see if these learners were getting distinctions only two learners got distinctions okay or maybe this is one learner all right okay Never mind that, and then we're given a scatter plot as well. And then the first question, which is 1.1, and this it's it was divided into 1.1 up until 1.6. So please stick around so that you see how we're going to solve the rest of the question, which is up until 1.6. All right, great stuff. So let's go ahead and have a look at this one. It says here that determine the equation of the uh, least square regression line for the data. Okay. So this one here is going to require us to enter the data into our calculator. So let's go ahead and display our calculator and while you guys gripping your calculators as well so that we do this one together to make sure that you fully understand it and you also practically do it rather than just watching the video. You must also participate and do it. This will help you a lot because this will be just also another form of practicing. All right. Okay, when they ask us for this one for the at least for the least line of regression, you have to remember that the general formula for this one, the general formula for this one, just to give you a quick lesson, guys. The general formula for this one is given by y is equal to a plus b x. All right. So we need to find this equation here. It is a straight line equation. So we need to go into our calculator, then find the value of A using a calculator and also find the value of B. This one, you must use a calculator, okay? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and display our calculator and then let's see what we're going to get from this one, All right? Okay, here's our calculator right here. Now let's uh, add the data. We are going to come here. Let me just uh, remove the previous data from the previous question. Okay, here we go. We need to set up first and set our calculator to statistics. We're going to come here and uh, mode setup. We press here on mode setup, guys. Then we choose the option number three, which is statistics. Choose option three. And therefore, we have got X and Y in our table there on the data that is given. Therefore, we should choose option two so that we can be able to find our A and B. All right. Remember, if you're only given one set of data, there's no X and Y. You will choose option one. All right. So we're going to come here and say option two. Right, let's go ahead and enter the data. Therefore, if you're given a data like this, mathematics will be X and then physical science will be on Y. Okay, let's start with mathematics. We've got 26 there. I always said, I'm going to say it again, guys. Please take it easy on your data. Don't rush yourself. Do everything step by step. Make sure that you are entering the data correctly. All right. Okay, here we go, 53, you then we press the equal sign to enter the data, 76 equals to 32 equal to 59 equal to, what do we have there, 43 equal to, we've got 33 equal to 49 equal to, yo, looks like this learner's way really really getting low marks eh? if i were to help you with mathematics i guarantee you this is not the kind of marks you will be getting okay you should be getting something like a 85 the one we're just entering now on the x all right so moving right along let's come up here therefore we'll add uh, let's add now the y 
the y which is the physical science max we've got 34 equal to now i can i can guarantee you guys i will teach you as if i'm the one who's going to be writing those exams and those tests you know because really people getting 43 is not really really is not make is not make sure all right so let's uh, move right along 73 uh, 26 okay 73 oh wait a minute okay not 73 that was oh actually that was 76 why am i saying 73 okay now we're entering 73 okay 50 39 57 51 uh, 24 then equal sign and then we are almost there 41 and then lastly 80 percent the kind of mass we want to get all right there you go we got 80 percent so therefore we're gonna press ac therefore we're gonna go ahead and press our data to be able to find the value of um a and b so we are gonna come here and say shift press one which is statistics and therefore we are looking for the regression which is number five here in this case option five therefore there is b there is a there we're gonna say a press the equal sign therefore a is giving us 9.5 okay 9.5 is our a value therefore we're gonna press ac please write that a will fill it down while we look for the b value therefore we're gonna come here option five regression again look for b b is equal to is 0 0.909 all right and that's how you would find the value of a and b in order for you to find the line the square line of regression all right okay let's go ahead and uh, put that into our answer sheet as well so that we are able to deal with this question all right okay with that said we already found okay let come here 1.1 we said a y is equals to a plus b x so we found the value of a we found the value of a to be to be 9.5 9.5 plus b which is the value of b which is 0 comma 91 times x okay and this would be our equation all right 1.2 let's read 1.2 1.2 says draw the 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 least square line of regression on the scatter plot provided in the answer sheet okay this is our answer sheet guys i don't have a ruler but the line of best fit you just have to look at the line that touches most of this a uh, dot that are uh, plotted here okay so i'm gonna try my best here it's supposed to be a straight line there you go and that's how you would deal with a question like this one there is our line there it's our line of scatter plot because now we know that we are correct we can even try to be fancy and show the examiner that we are aware that the equation of this straight line is given by 9.5 0.91x okay and that's how we deal with the question like this one let's move on to 1.3 stuff 1.3 1.3 says here uh, let's go ahead uh, 1.3 1.3 predicts the physical science mark of a learner who achieves 69 percent on mathematics okay right so now this letter remember x is mathematics okay so our x value is equals to 69 percent okay which is uh, what the learner got remember our equation was given by y is equals to 9.5 plus 0.91 x so we already know the value of x therefore we are looking for y 9.1 plus 0.19 times 69 so when i punch this in from my eye calculator let me see how much is giving me okay it's giving me 72. To nine percent, okay, 
is just to substitute the value of x into the original equation which is what we're given here so we substituted x there therefore we got that answer there so it means this is the mark that the, the physical science mark that elena would get if that lena got 69 percent in mathematics all right okay 1.4 1.4 says here, write down the correlation coefficient between the mathematics and the physical science mark for the data. All right. This one is going to require us to use a calculator because what they are looking for, this correlation coefficient is the one that I explained on the paper of uh, November 2022. Yes, I think so. Yeah, this is they're looking for the R value. And then we did say that if this R value is closer to 1, if this R value is closer to 1, okay, if it's approaching 1, it's approximately 1. Therefore, it means that there is a very strong correlation on the data. If it's not, therefore, there's a weak correlation. It means the relationship on the data is not good, okay it's really really bad not less than zero rather but let me say less than 0 0.5 because it means now the data is not even reliable so let's go ahead i'm gonna display my calculator while you guys grab your calculators as well and let's do this together to see that if we really fully fully understand it all right okay good stuff now there's our calculator displayed i hope you guys can see it if you don't see it please let me know good stuff so now let's go ahead and look for this r what we do with r we're gonna come here and say shift to then one which is statistics then you see therefore we've got this one number five here which is regression then we are gonna press five this r there is option three we're gonna press option three so our r value is 0 0.95 which is very very close to one therefore we already we can see that based on what we discussed earlier that the correlation is very very strong so it means this data is actually reliable so let's go ahead and then answer the rest of the question we our r value is 0 0.95 okay great stuff 1.5 1.5 said comment on the strength of the correlation oh that's exactly what i expected of the correlation uh, between uh, mathematics and physical science mark on the data therefore basically the very same thing that i was explaining here we can say very strong correlation very strong uh, positive correlation or we can simply say there's a very strong uh, close relationship between the marks of mathematics and that of physical sciences All right okay and then that's it 1.6 1.6 he said uh, what trend did the teacher observe between the results of the two subjects okay what trend did the teacher observe i think because we can see that this graph here yeah, this graph is positively moving up there so we can safely say what did they do you can say either of a higher a math max or mathematics max okay if a person got a higher mark max on mathematics therefore that person would also get higher marks on physical science okay on physical science so this simply means if that person is good in mathematics they are most likely to be good in physical sciences okay i am gustin mapala this was question number one november 2020 please let me see you on the next upload where we'll be doing november question two from 2022 up until 2020 i am gustin mapala if you've got any questions concerning this playlist of question one uh, please make sure that you drop a comment on the comment section below or you ask me a question directly directly on whatsapp i will be able to assist you if you need online classes please let me know and also if you need a one-on-one -on -one as well i am gustin mapala signing out i'll see you on the next upload when we're doing question twos <laughs>